Hi, um, I want to introduce this painting, um, untitled as yet, but for me, representing a family in the journey of life in that early years of bringing up children. Um, you know, we use the word handful <laughs> a lot, and, and of course it's very much like that, children are a handful um, but I guess on, a, on the whole it's a sunny day and um, but it's this situation of the vulnerability of the family unit within this big expanse of water um, you know any of the kids could fall out at any moment and you're just trying to keep them all in the boat until they get to independence uh, so, so that's sort of the thought behind it, but it didn't start with that thought so much. Um, often a painting session for me starts with just an impulse. I think with this one, um, I had an impulse one day, I just want to use my lovely big screen here and have an image the same size and just be able to, to copy it, like just turn off my mind and just copy shapes and colours just for a while. And so I was looking for an image to use, um, and I'd already found this image. So what drew me to this couple was this couple. I mean, the beautiful couple looking out, and and then incidentally, completely by chance, I noticed this small part of the photograph here, which is that, which is blown up now, so it's it's a bit blurry, but but that's the image that that I used. And so I'd done a drawing from that. Um, and, and so I also put it on Photoshop in the palette knife in Photoshop to simplify it so it wasn't too specific, but just patches of color. So then it became um, wanting to paint this subject and I chose this big canvas and I wanted to place them very carefully within this big expanse to give that sense of, of their smallness and vulnerability within the expanse of, of life, as it were. And I, I chose a canvas um, that was a bit like this to start with, which is leftover oil paint of these muted colors, big piles of paint. I use it to just to prime canvases. Um, and so the surface already has some texture and it also has some varied color to show through. So that was really helpful in this instance. Often I wonder why I do that, but in this instance it was really helpful because a lot of these colors, these greens, warm browns, yellows, pinks, and then dull grays are, are the color of that surface, prime surface. And it gives it a roughness and a, an energy to the canvas before you even start. Um, so that was really helpful for the water. I didn't, like, you know, you paint the water blue. Well, I didn't want it to be blue. I wanted it to be more interesting than that. Um, I also had uh, this photograph, which was useful, just a few steps along. Uh, this photograph, and I did a drawing. This is useful for the sense of green, beautiful green in the, in the waves. And it also, I did a, a drawing of this, which in which the boat was really tiny in this massive expanse of water. And it helped me to think about the scale of, of the people within the rectangle. Um, so this, this painting is, is uh, it's quite raw, you know, it's not too descriptive of the people. And it's funny, I posted a, a work in progress image on Instagram and somebody said, oh, it's a, it's a family portrait. And I honestly hadn't realized. It's funny what we do out of all the images in the world, we select images and don't even realize how autobiographical they are. You know, this is me and Lindsay and three boys. Um, how obvious is that? It kind of even looks like me and Lindsay. Um, just crazy that it never actually twigged. So although I'm talking about it deliberately now as an interpretation of the statement of, you know, traversing the early years of childhood as a family, 
<laughs> you know, it comes from the subconscious, honestly, it does. You know, I, when I'm starting a painting, I'm thinking about the process of, of what to do. Um, so once again, the surface is, is very rough. Um, I'll just bring it close so you can see. Right up, see, see, the surface is, it, it's like a surface of a Lucian Freud, all rough and pitted and it's painted in a lot of sessions, short sessions, because I didn't want to overdo it, you know, I didn't want to just make it nice for the sake of it. I didn't want to make it nice for the sake of it. I wanted it to just be presented very simply. And this is open to criticism. I've, I've always told my students, like, don't point out the faults in a painting to people. Um, but it, that's difficult to not tidy things up just for the sake of it, because you know it could be painted better. Will it make a better painting to tidy it up and to make it more descriptive? I don't think it always does. And so it's a, it's a purely, it's a decision that's, that's really considered. I mean, it seems ridiculous to me that, you know, there might be a big price tag on, on this painting in the gallery. Um, and, and yet it could be better technically. But in making it better technically, you know, describing the form of an arm more perfectly, does it make the expression better? Often it actually detracts from that sense of immediacy and urgency. And um, so that's a very considered decision that I'm, I'm grappling with at the moment in my work. Um, so here we are. Uh, hope you can make the show. <laughs>